Hello people, welcome back to AB Animation Studios, and you are watching, AB Tutorials. Now we have come to an interesting part in the After Effects series. Yes, today we are going to do a basic animation in After Effects. So if you are watching our channel for the first time, previously we have posted two episodes. And for sure those videos will be useful for you, so don't forget to go and check it. Okay people, come let's learn. You guys may know, what is animation? But it's my duty to tell my point on that. Animation is not just moving our art or drawings. Animation means giving life to art or design. Now let's see how to create that animation in After Effects. Open After Effects and create a new composition. So to create a new composition, you can use this icon or you can use this small icon over here or in the menu you can go to composition and select new composition or else we can use shortcuts yes in after effects we have plenty of shortcuts usually we see a bonus tip in the middle or end of the video but in this video i am going to share in the starting bonus tip the thing is we have plenty of shortcuts in our after effects each and every tab has plenty of shortcuts but if you ask me do we need to learn all the shortcuts? Absolutely not needed guys. It's enough if you know some basic shortcuts and if you wonder whether there is any benefit in learning shortcuts? Yes, there are lots of benefits. By learning these shortcuts your workflow will become faster and smoother for sure. It's 100% true and I have also experienced it. So learn it as much as you can. I have linked below in the description. Please check and try to learn at least. Whatever is available in that link and that will be sufficient for you guys. Okay. Let's jump back to the video. I am selecting a new composition from the composition tab. After selecting new composition, a box will appear like this. Let's see what options are available here. Composition name. I will give the composition name as demo as this is a demo project. Next is the preset option. There are plenty of presets available and you can choose as you need height and width, and here some more options are available. I will explain about these options once we go in detail, and for now you can. Keep these same preset values and work. Now click OK. After giving OK a composition will be created like this. In our project panel, one item named demo has been created. That is one composition has been created. So this is the demo project, and here only we are going to create that animation. Firstly, I am going to animate with an image. Please watch it carefully. And after that we will see the process in detail. Okay, come let's see. Hope you have seen that animating is too simple. I have completed this animation with simple steps in a short time. Now let's see the process in detail. First I have imported the image into the project panel by drag and drop method. Similarly, you can drag and drop the images or video you need into the project panel like this. After that, what did I do? In the demo project, which we have already created and open, I have dragged and dropped the image and added to our project. After that what I did is, with this image I am just visualizing, what I am going to do. And after that I have thought to animate the position. So what I did is, I clicked this arrow mark near this layer. So once you click it you will get this information. Transform is one of the properties of the layer. And this will be available for all the layers. And in some layers some extra properties will also be available. So now if I click this arrow, you will get many properties below like, anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity and much more. And as I said earlier I have visualized animate position. So for that I have selected a position. And after that I kept going for 0 seconds. And clicked this stopwatch to create this. 
diamond-shaped icon and it's called the keyframe. And after creating this, what I did is if you see this blue line here, which is called the indicator, that is the timeline indicator. I am moving and placing this indicator in 3 seconds. And after that I have moved this image outside. That is outside the black area. This black space is the work area. And this outside area will not be visible in the video. It will be hidden the same way as you see now. This can be moved in composition or you. Can change the values here. To change the X and Y positions. So like this only I have animated. If you are confused with this, diamond icon and stopwatch, it's really simple and I will explain it to you in detail. As I have visualized that I am going to change the position. And it's registered in my mind. And I have stored it. So now to use my idea I have. To convey it to After Effects. That from this point 0 seconds to 3 seconds. This star should be moved from the center to the outside area. So to convey this to the After Effects. I am using this keyframe. So I am placing this indicator in 0 seconds and when I click this stopwatch keyframe is created. I will click and show you now. See when I click diamond. So like this we can create it. So for the first keyframe. You can create like this. Until which sec you need that animation. You should drag and place this indicator. After that you can change the values or position. By this time you can see that. The keyframe is created. That is this is the start keyframe. And this is the end keyframe. So after this if you are creating a keyframe. That will be the end. And this becomes the middle keyframe. So now you would got some basic idea about this keyframe. And if you have doubt in increasing or decreasing the speed. For that if you bring the end point near to. This starting point it will increase the speed. And see the gap between the points is increased. And similarly if you move it farther. It gets slower. Now for 12 seconds the same animation will happen and it will be too slow. Now I will show a small demo. I have just brought it near and placed the indicator and played it. See it's playing fast. Now on moving it to 10 seconds. See the points have disappeared and it has become a straight line. Now while playing it see how slowly it's moving. So like this you can adjust the time. If it's near means speed and far means slow. Now let's undo this. And now we have seen about keyframe completely. So if you ask me only with position, we can do this. And what about the remaining properties? No, if you see in this layer that for which all properties. This stopwatch is there you can animate. See for this transform stopwatch is not there. So we cannot animate. For the options with stopwatch you can animate. For example I will show a demo for scale. Now we are going to see an advanced option. Don't get scared. It's about parenting. Come let's see. Now I am deleting the remaining. Except position. And also changing these values for pushing it. So now what happens is. The animation will start from this point. Now to get the same image again. I am importing by dragging and dropping it. I am making this smaller. By using transform to reduce the size. And then changing the position by. Either changing these values or by. Dragging and keeping it wherever I want. Okay. Now let's see a task on parenting. Where a client is asking me to do a video. In which small stars should follow. And travel along with the big star. And there is no time. It's really urgent. So now I can't keep checking these values, copying and pasting it. So do it in an easy way we do parenting. How to do it? If you see this spiral icon, parenting icon. And if you click this icon and drag. You will get like a Spider-Man web. Take this web and go to the layer. And tag it to the layer which needs to be followed. 
After that you can see the box is marked as favorite. Or you can click this spiral icon and do. Or if you click here you will see all the layers. In which you can select the parent layer. But I like this method and it's easy. So I have shown you this. Okay, now what happened? There are no keyframes. How will it follow? Come let's play it first and then we will discuss. Wow, did you see? It follows the same animation easily. The following is the correct word. I have asked the small star layer to follow. The big star layer by holding its hand. That is I have parented both the layers. So what happens when you play? The small star follows the same animation of the parent and goes behind. So like this you can parent the simple animations. Where is this parenting used? We can see in our future videos as you. Guys will be a little confused right now. But to show you guys some interesting things. In the After Effects what all we can do. I have shown these options today. Try to learn these simple basics. And it will be really useful. While working on big projects? Then what? If you have basic knowledge in After Effects. You would have heard about graph editor. What is a graph editor and if it's really essential? Doubts? Come I will show you an example for that. So that it will be useful for the people who doesn't know about it. Graph editor demo and its uses? Mainly this is not a video on graph editor. It's just a demo and we will see about it in detail in the coming videos. If I play now you can see it's moving a little fast. Okay since the time is fast. Now I am increasing it to the old 3 seconds. Now on playing it, see how it moves. But this is too normal from start to end. But what I need is a smooth animation with smoothness. With easy ease and easy in, that is it starts faster and ends slow, or starts slowly and moves faster. Have you seen it? Yes you guys would have surely seen it, and I will show it now, for that what you should do is, select these two keyframes. If you have 10 keyframes in a layer, you have to select all those 10 keyframes, to select the click position. So that all the keyframes will be selected, and then go to the graph editor. Where is the graph editor? If you click this icon, the graph editor will open. What box is this? Are you confused? Don't worry. It's too simple. Go to that layer and first select it. After selecting, you have to press one key that is F9. If you press F9 this diamond will change to sand clock or timer shaped icon and now. Let's see what has happened in the graph editor. See now the box has changed. That is normal animation has changed to a curve. Means starting is smooth and it speeds up and then it slows down. In case your graph editor is not like this, right click in the blank space. And check whether the edit speed graph option is selected, in case its value changes to speed. Then select this point by clicking it. After selecting you will get a handle. Now drag this handle slowly and, if you see in the top our star is changing movements. Now what's happening means. It moves speed and then goes slow. Shall we play and see? See how. The speed is reduced from high to low. Now I will do the same thing in reverse. I have given undo. So what happens now? It starts slowly and ends faster. Come, let's play and see the change. See it starts slowly and goes out fast. So for this purpose only graph editor is used. I think now who would have understood the importance of graph editor. It's used in many places and it makes your animation smoother and presentable. As I told you earlier now I will tell you about the usage of shortcuts. If you want to select position or scale you have to select multiple arrows and options. Instead of that I will tell you a simple way. 
Check the shortcuts on the screen. Come let's try those and see. If you want position, press P. Scale, press S. For rotation, press R and for opacity that is transparency. Press T I will show you opacity too. And after that one more was there. That's the anchor point anchor point value. Press A. We have seen in our last video about this anchor tool that is to move the anchor point. You can move with that tool too or you can move like this too from here. And for that this property is used. And similarly to open new composition. Press Ctrl plus N and many more shortcuts. Like Ctrl plus K are also available, for splitting the layers extra. And we will see all those in timeline demo. Don't forget to learn these shortcuts, as it will be really useful to you. So guys now we have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to try at least once what we have learned today. And it will be really interesting for you guys, as we have one week gap for the next video. Try to do any small work, or small animations and share me through, insta or mail me, even if it's very simple, it's also not an issue. Don't forget to share with me, as I will be really happy seeing it. If you have any doubts in this video, if I have missed anything or what's this icon for, please ask in the comment box below, so that we can increase our video quality, and I will get to know what you need. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to check our channel. And if you like it please press the subscribe button and join our family. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Let's see in the next video. Until then, AB signed off.